golf, a sport rich in tradition and history. A game of stories filled with emotion, with tales of heroic champions and determined trailblazers. And players and contributors who will be remembered for generations. It is a global celebration of excellence and values that are at the very core of sport itself. And at its center, the World Golf Hall of Fame and Museum, the keeper of the game's brightest flames. The traditions of the Hall of Fame were founded with its very first class of notable members. 14 in all, they represent the gold standard of a generation of legends, which included the Hall's global ambassador, Gary Player. When you think of the great players of the past, you think of the Ben Hogan's, the Sam Sneeds, the Harry Vardens, the Arnold Palmer's, the Jack Nicholas's, the Patty Bergs, and all these wonderful lady golfers. It was a real privilege, something that I will never forget. Located in St. Augustine, Florida, the Hall of Fame is the centerpiece of the World Golf Village Resort and attracts visitors from all 50 states and around the world who make the pilgrimage to honor the legends of the game. The museum is a 35,000 square foot treasure trove housing thousands of artifacts and gives visitors a behind the scenes look at golf's great stories. The experience is complemented by interactive opportunities, video presentations and special exhibits that leave visitors inspired by what they have seen. Members themselves are often deeply moved after seeing their artifacts dramatically displayed for all to see. I spent a couple of hours at the Hall of Fame uh, looking at all the artifacts, all the history of the game of golf, and getting to know better the history of all the great champions that have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. While the Hall of Fame is open nearly every day of the year, one stands above all, Induction Day. For the inductees, it is a time to reflect on what they have accomplished. As they take the stage to accept golf's highest honor, many are overwhelmed by its meaning. I'm very honored to be a part of this elite group in the World Golf Hall of Fame. I was blessed with a talent to do something that I love and enjoy and also make my profession. To join this World Golf Hall of Fame, I'm having a chance to be a part of something that my heroes are in. All of us have been lucky enough to play this game. Thank you so much. In May 2011, the World Golf Hall of Fame induction ceremony will be a fitting start to the Players' Championship Week festivities. With the class of 2011, Scottish legend Jock Hutchinson, President George H.W. Bush, Doug Ford, Japan's Jumbo Ozaki, and South Africa's Ernie Els will be honored at the Night of Legends dinner on Sunday, May 8th honored with induction on Monday night, May 9th at World Golf Village, an evening which will be filled with emotion and celebration. Beyond the induction ceremony, the hall is working to expand its reach by creating meaningful points of engagement with individuals, companies, and corporations that can assist with its mission. To preserve the history of the game and celebrate golf's greatest players and contributors to ensure that their names will never be forgotten. It is said that inside this hall, greatness is revered. But beyond its walls, wherever Hall of Fame members are, its flame continues to burn brightly. The World Golf Hall of Fame and Museum, a place that connects generations, preserves history, and honors its legends. You're going to have to forgive me because this is touching. A little old caddy boy from Charlotte, North Carolina. Come from a very poor family. Out there running up and down the road behind this little white ball and getting inducted into the greatest hall, the World Hall of Fame. How about it? <laughs>